Okay, always a delight, delight to uh, get previous uh, interviewees back on my show. I uh, may remember we had uh, Macy uh, on my show uh, a couple of uh, months ago. Hey, hey, Macy, how are we doing today? Hey, I'm really good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Um, hope you've had a good summer. What have you been up to uh, since we last spoken? Um, so <laughs> I went to see Taylor Swift on the weekend, which was so fun. <laughs> Wicked. Um, yeah, and I've released a single this summer. Yeah. Um, since we last spoke, which we'll get into in a little bit. But yeah, thank you so much for having me on the show again. <laughs> yeah, no worries. And I know you've um, took a bit of time out as well, just to kind of like, you know, um, have a, you know, um, some downtime. How has that been? Yeah, no, it's been great. I've been on a couple of holidays. Yeah. Oh, well deserved. <laughs> um, so uh, last time you had a previous single out, um, it's been a while. Um, what's your new single called and what's that about then, please? So the new single is called Shut Your Mouth <laughs> in the politest way. <laughs> um, and it's basically about people talking too loud. Oh, OK, <laughs> brilliant. Um, and would you say it's quite a fun track? Yeah, it's quite it's a very fun track. And like when we wrote it, it was um, it was very laid back. There was no actual like topic. We just kind of wrote it, you know, and it just come really naturally. But yeah. <laughs> and it's, is it still continuing to still continuing with the elements of like pop? Pop dance. Yes. It's Great. still funky, like funk pop. Yeah. Brilliant. And um going into uh, the later uh, time of the year now, um, do you have any gigs coming up or um special yeah. special appearances? Yeah, so I'm playing um Fringe Festival in Swansea. Um, and I want to say that's on the 5th of October. So that's obviously the autumn's coming around the corner. I did have a festival this weekend, but it got cancelled, unfortunately. Um, and then I'm busking on the weekend in Cardiff. So, yeah. It's all, yeah, good, it's all... good to keep busy then. And a few that I can't announce yet, but I'm so excited. It's like my one of the biggest things that's happened in my career so far, but I can't oh. announce it yet. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Well, we'll look forward to that anyway. Um, I would say this time of year as well um, seems to be the stronger part of the year, like things um, with uh, Christmas coming up, Halloween and, um, you know, all the bigger events. Uh, mm -hmm. Things seem to be... Uh, moving on onwards and uh, you know like during these uh, last couple of years it's been quite steady isn't it with everything you know coming out of like lockdown yes definitely yeah cool and um do you find that you have to keep on releasing like material all the time you know where uh, keep it fresh or uh, just do you just kind of go with the flow yeah I think like obviously last year I released the EP um back in November and then I kind of had like a little bit of a gap, like, you know, I said, I've had a bit of time to get back in the studio and, you know, work on some new stuff and I'm still working on loads of new stuff. And it's just like, yeah, every week I'm working on something different and new, which is really exciting. Um, but I'm not in like much of a rush to release loads this year. Obviously now we're in August. So yeah, like you said, Christmas now is literally going to be upon us. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, probably one more single for this year and then next year then, hopefully maybe a little bit of an album oh brilliant so uh, a collection <laughs> of songs um you know yeah. um, in the pipeline um and also um um coming into um the start of september you know people going back to college or school um do you do you um do you study as well at university at the moment no i no i actually don't so um i'm 23 now i i did go to college a couple of years ago it feels like so long ago mm. But I finished college to focus on my music, um, you know, which was like a massive thing. Um, so, yeah, I'm I'm freelancing music at the minute. So I'm hoping to actually play some fresher shows. Um, so if anyone's got any contacts, hit me up because I want to play for like freshers and stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. That's good. Um, I know with uh, like the music business um, myself, it's... Um, it's a full time commitment, isn't it? Um, you, you have to, uh, to take it seriously. You do, you do have to take the plunge. Yes, yeah, and I did that like a couple of months ago. So I took the plunge of doing it full time um, for the whole summer, um, which has been great. So yeah, you've just got to take you've just got to take the chances and the risks, and mm. yeah, hopefully it'll pay off. <laughs> right, yeah, and um, I know you're quite um, a, is it relevant, which means um, you you trend on like social media quite a lot. So that's a good uh, aspect, isn't it, to uh, have uh, under your belt, you know, a promotion. Yeah, one hundred percent. I just I love social media personally. I think it's like a great way to connect with you know like fans and stuff. And yeah, I just love like post my outfits, gigs and stuff, and everything. <laughs> so yeah. 
And um, I think I've asked this question before. Um, are you self-released artist? Are you so like everything is um, you, you're your own boss basically. I am my own boss, <laughs> which can be dangerous sometimes, but it's mm. good. <laughs> I feel on the whole, um, it's uh, on, it's worth it, isn't it? You know, uh, and you don't have to uh, you don't have to answer to anyone at, at the top. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Telling you what to do. <laughs> Cool. Um, and um, do you like doing cover versions as well? You know, um, they seem to, as you say, you busk as well. Like, do you like putting your own stamp on on a song as well? Yeah. And recently, so I don't know, like before when I first started releasing music, I felt like it was a crime to like cover, like do covers. I don't know. I don't know why. And I don't know why it was in my head about that. But recently I've just been singing a lot of like covers and stuff because I think, you know, TikTok and stuff is like massive for cover artists and all and yeah like when I'm busking I chuck a lot of covers in because obviously that's what people like to hear um along with some of my other stuff as well um so yeah I do love I do like doing a little cover sometimes <laughs> oh that's good and um what's the reaction been like you know from um you know your audiences the crowd yeah really cool actually like when I do like the shows and stuff and I add like a little cover in I've been doing a lot unwritten um by Natasha and like oh, yeah. every every time they hear the chords of the guitar they like go mental I'm like guys <laughs> I just love doing that one so yeah they seem to be quite popular these naughties throwbacks at the moment I love it so much I'm here yeah. for it <laughs> classic bubblegum pop you know where they don't when you look at the charts now well the charts are basically most of the songs from 20 years ago when you look at it yeah literally just like or just like a remake or yeah yeah 100%. amazing how things come around isn't it I guess yeah. um um that's the same with fashion as well, you know. Uh, trendy. Say, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And then, um, you're quite trendy as well yourself. You like uh, fashion as well. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I love fashion. I feel like if I didn't, if I wasn't a musician, I'd definitely be like, I'd love to like do the fashion designer kind of thing, you know. <laughs> and, and do you think uh, being a, a pop performer, pop artist, a fashion comes hand in hand with that as well? It does help, like the wardrobe it side of things. Yeah, yeah, you know, when picking an outfit can take up to three to five working days, but <laughs> yeah, no, it's great. Because <laughs> people don't realise um, what actually goes into, you know, um, being um, a recording artist, you know, um, the, the behind the scenes, it's a lot of groundwork. Yeah, it definitely is. And, you know, like a lot of thinking goes into it, like you don't just kind of show up on the stage without anything going behind it's, yeah it's mad you know and I think I just love putting on a show and I love visuals and yeah I just love all that so <laughs> cool and um so uh, one final question uh, what has been like your most proudest moment um so far um oh I want to say releasing my own music I think just out into the world and if I can I say like a performance one as well yeah sure far ahead yeah so the Principality Stadium when I like perform my own music in there was just mad to like 50,000 people <laughs> couldn't cool. think then and um what would you like to say to your friends and um you know your, your followers um check out my new single shut your mouth <laughs> cool. and yeah just thank you for all the love and support that people are already given it as well and yeah thank you right well brilliant that's a short and sweet interview but I just wanted to get you on for a quick uh, interview catch up nice to uh you know, um, reconvene, you know, with uh, past guests and uh, we uh, can get your new singing out uh, on the radio on the show now, if that's all right with you. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you so much. And thank you for having me as well. Great. Macy, uh, you're a star. Thanks again for just hopping on and uh, we'll uh, wish you all the best for the rest of uh, your year. Maybe catch up with you um, early next year. All right. Yes. Thank you so much. Good to see you again. And you.